First electric cars, now boats. Rich Jamiro went for a ride on the water and joins us to tell us more in today's TechSmart. Rich, this must be a really big story. Fridays are like one of your research and shoot days and stuff like that, but here you are telling us about these boats. Yeah, this is so much fun. Uh, I had to go up to San Francisco to check this one out. Uh, Chris, as you know, many of the electric boats out there are leisure craft. They're slow. They don't go too far on a charge. But this is a startup named Kendall. They want to change all that with an all-electric speedboat that uses the power of physics to its advantage. Chances are you haven't seen a boat do this before. It feels uh, great every time. I just... I can't get over it. <laughs> this is the Candela C7. As you can see, it's plugged in. An all-electric speedboat that could have big potential for the future of water transportation. Because we have very low uh, energy consumption, and with a small battery, we can go quite far. The 26-foot boat holds six passengers and goes about 50 nautical miles on a charge. The reason it's so efficient? Three, two, one, take off. The boat uses hydrofoils, or small wings underneath, that push it up to glide above the water. Now we're lifting up above the water. Oh, wow, that's wild. Less friction means less power consumption. The hull of this boat is no longer touching the water. It also makes for a smooth and mostly silent ride. Seasickness could be a thing of the past. This is fun, and it's quiet. The entire process is so quiet. You just feel like you're up above the water, just kind of floating. The secret is in the software. An onboard computer is constantly making calculations to keep the boat steady, to the tune of 100 adjustments every second. All the controls for the flight is automated. So it's done by the computer. The only thing you have to do is steer the boat and look where you're going. Behind the boat, there's almost no wake. We're doing 30 knots now. When it's time to go back to shore, the boat lands. Splashing down into the water. The landing is a whole experience in itself. Right now, a big factor holding this technology back is cost. The boat is about $300,000, but as the tech advances, that should come down. I think it will happen. Uh, it's just a matter of time on how um, and how much uh, boats are going to become electric. Such a fun story, such a smooth and quiet ride on that boat. And although it might be a while before it's ready for the mass market based on that price, Candela is working on a ferry using similar technology that would transport people across the water in an eco friendly way. All right, if you want to learn more about that boat, you can go to my website. It is richontech.tv. Megan, I know you get a little queasy on the water. Uh, are you, are you, I do, do you like, sometimes. Do you like the idea of the, the steadiness? Because I'm <laughs> not do. kidding. It, it felt like you were just, you could just talk with your friends on that boat. There's right. no sound. No, that, that boat is really cool. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Right. Oh, if we happen to have a few hundred grand. Yeah, extra around. few hundred grand. Yeah. Hey, real yeah. quick, um, the hydrofoil part of the, all of that. So, so uh, I know it reduces the drag yep. and all of that kind yep. of Is that the way it, it's either, is it all or nothing? Is there like an, can you, Keep it lowered if you want to just enjoy that. Part. Yeah, I mean, you could if you just want to like cruise around like slowly. Yeah, absolutely. You could just use it like a regular boat, but that's not going to give you the best energy efficiency. So the whole reason they've got those hydrofoils is because once you lift that boat up, you can go a lot further on the same battery. Uh, scale to one to ten uh, on your favorite stories. Where does this one stack up? That one was pretty fun because I actually shot it myself, so I kind of like you know it was like a little bit of a challenge too. So I. <laughs> Almost dropped my phone in the water, by the way. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> Which I couldn't been... call you while I was in San Francisco. I dropped my phone. That would have been so Rich. bad. Yeah. All Bye, right. Rich. You're the man, Rich. Yeah. That looked amazing. Thank you.